Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric. So I thought today we'd go into lawnmower blades and how we install them. So stay tuned. So welcome back. My name is Eric if you didn't already know it. So today we're going to talk about lawnmower blades, installation of lawnmower blades, and what you should be doing the process, okay? Now when it comes to removing any of your lawnmower blades, it's not going to hurt and it's a good thing to kind of do is pop the wire off the spark plug so that there's no way that it can start, especially on push mowers, okay? And get yourself a good work area. For us, we have where we can drive the, the front tires onto the unit and then jack it up so they get good access to the blades. And to take the blades off, we use the air impact half inch on all of them. Now, some of the battery operated ones that they have out nowadays, the half inch, will do quite a bit. So when you unhook the spark plug, that should be the first thing you do before you touch anything. And then what you want to do next, once the spark plug has been unplugged, especially on your push mowers, is take the blade off. And if you're taking the blade off to sharpen it and stuff, this is the time to inspect it. I've got two blades here that come off different lawnmowers. And as you can see, this one ran in sandy loam where it really wore it down and it's missing pieces, that will never balance. I don't know how he wasn't shaking that deck terrible. And this one here, again, it's missing pieces. It's more complete than this, but it's beyond repair. It's junk. But if you're taking the more blade off and you're going to sharpen it, I recommend that you sharpen the blades off the unit. I use a vise to hold the, the blade in place while I'm sharpening it. And if you're going to do that, you want to order online a simple blade balancer. And they aren't that expensive. They look like a little pyramid. You can set your blade on it and spin it around. And it's going to tell you whether it's balanced or not. And the other misconception that I know I see a lot is people thinking that they have to have this razor sharp so you can cut a piece of paper on it. That's the worst thing you can do is take it down to that. Because now you weaken that blade. And even if it nicks a little bit of a stone, it can start a crack on that blade. So you don't sharpen them to get them razor sharp. You sharpen them just to give them a little bit of an edge. You're not going to get cut on a lawnmower blade. You should never get cut on a lawnmower blade. So the next thing is, is putting them on correctly. And whether you have a high lift, medium lift, or no lift, it's always going to be with the lift facing towards the deck so this is going to be the the bottom going up in and then you put it back on with your impact with your nut this edge is always going to be so when it's spinning it's cutting the grass right now if you put it upside down which it will go upside down now you're hitting these fins and you're not going to cut any grass and i've had guys on a three blade set put in two the right way one the wrong way and then tell me that my mower blades are bad because they won't cut grass no it's because they had it in bass backwards <clears throat> so it's easy to do if you're one of those people that put them on upside down you know you're not the only one just make sure you keep the fin up and the blade so it's pointed down same thing with your push mowers that have hardly any lift. You got the cutting side always facing down, going up in, tighten it up. We use the air to tighten them all up and it's not going to hurt to torque them afterwards. Don't over tighten them guys. It can happen. Uh, so hopefully on that note you'll learn something new today about lawnmower blades and how to correctly install them. 